If you haven't been in Guild Wars 2 and decided to do something extremely niche but also kind of stupid, well, yeah, th that's exactly what I'm about to do here, and I'm going to explain what it's about. So pretty much, in Guild Wars 2, in Secrets of the Obscure, the latest expansion, they went and put in what I'm pretty sure is a, a reference to Avatar The Last Airbender. Because in Avatar The Last Airbender, there's this joke, this reoccurring joke of the Cabbage Man. It's not a man who's been turned into a cabbage or anything. It's just a dude who's a farmer who really likes cabbages, and then along comes the main cast, including Aang and his friends, and they smash into his car, and he's like, My cabbages! I'm gonna put up the clip of that video up right now on the screen. <gasps> My cabbages! You're gonna pay for this! So, now that you know about the clip, uh, let me also just go into the options here, and turn up the voice volume. Uh, there it is. All the way. So you can hear the line from this character, Gar Ledclaw. This guy, by the way, only shows up if you go into uh, Secrets of the Obscure and you get the Astral Ward thing, like the Masteries, all the way up here, which means you need to gain a heap of experience and you also need to gain Mastery points through going to the various maps and doing achievements and everything. And you need to get heaps and heaps of experience and get it all the way up here. If you didn't know how Masteries worked, let me just tell you, this took me weeks to complete, so... After weeks of getting these special items, we finally have Gar with uh, his great voice line. Stay out of my cabbages! Yep, that's what he says. He says, stay out of your ca his cabbages. Uh, uh, you should probably know, he's actually booby trapped the cabbages. Like, he literally put a bomb in the cabbages. I, I don't know why. Gar, you are kind of insane. <laughs> See what I mean? I was not joking. When you walk into them, the cabbages literally explode. But the thing is, after they explode, you can freely walk into them. Also, if I had walked up to the cabbage like this, you can freely harvest them. Which means, you're free to actually steal guards' cabbages. Now normally what you might do, is you might just go, and you might steal the cabbages, and you might be like, ah, oh, fair play. And then you probably go into your inventory, uh, where's that cabbage, there it is. And then you right click the cabbage, and then you click deposit in your bank. However, me, being a conniving little shit, I have decided to take this one step further. I talked to one of my friends, Zero, about this, and I was like, what if you go and you start stealing his cabbages when he's not around? Now, the thing is, I didn't know that these were actually Gar's cabbages before I unlocked that mastery. So for a while, I was running around here taking the cabbages each time, not even knowing that they were Gar's cabbages. Therefore, I was accidentally stealing it off him. Now I know that it's his cabbages, I'm going to steal it off him even more. No, oh, my cabbages! So, what I decided to do is that I'm going to hold off getting the cabbages on my Steam account, my other account that I have, and I'm going to just continuously loot his cabbages so that when I finally actually get Gar unlocked in that account, I'm going to be able to wave cabbages in his face. Another thing I'm also going to do is I'm going to keep the cabbages on a separate character and I'm going to keep Gar's only cabbage pile of stolen illegal cabbages. cabbages. And later on, I don't know, like how many months down the line, I'm going to make an update video. I'm going to post it on my channel. And I'm going to call it like how many of Gar's cabbages I've stolen. The other thing I also plan to do is this. When I finally unlock Gar, I'm going to run up to him for no apparent Our reason just because I want to. Is making you I'm, uneasy. Hold on. The other characters are talking, we only wanted Gar to talk, so let me turn the voice volume off. But yeah, I'm gonna get the cabbages, I'm gonna run up to him, I'm gonna drag them out here, rub it in his face, and rip them apart right in front of his face after I have, like, over a hundred or so of Gar's stolen cabbages. And if you think I'm gonna stop there, just you wait, because... I'm going to switch to my Steam account right now and explain some eth extra methods I've done in order to make the cabbage heist just that much more juicy and good. Yes, that's what I'm calling it. El Grando Cabbage Heist or some shit, I don't know. But over we go to my Steam account. Uh, let me just Alt F4 to quit out the game. It should all freeze there. And now the screen has gone black because uh, I am not recording Guild Wars 2 anymore. I closed the program. Now let me pause the OBS recording and get back to you when I've loaded up my Steam account, because you don't need to see all the nitty-gritty stuff of me doing that. 
Okay, so here I am, finally loaded into the wizard's tower on the uh, on the scene account I was mentioning, and here is where we put the plan into motion. So first of all, go into the material storage, scroll all the way down, find all the plant-based items, and here we are, the heads of cabbage. Since I only have ten, it's time to then. Okay, first of course, okay, get, get, get them out of the bank. I was, I was trying to do this, yes, I was trying to literally tear up and delete the cabbages because cabbages are cheap enough anyway on the market, who cares how much they cost it, they're unimportant. The reason why I did that is because I am now going to purposefully delete or not, not deposit every single other cabbage I find, meaning that my material storage, the base amount by the way, which is 250, I've not upgraded the material storage in this account, is going to solely be for gar lead claws cabbages only so basically every time i click deposit it's going to deposit in there and i'm going to try and get the number real high of only gar lead claws stolen cabbages and as i mentioned before yep on this account i haven't upgraded the thing so he's not even around he isn't even here to tell me to stay out of his cabbages so thank you very much i am going to steal every single one of them but, but yes point is I'm using, at this point, three characters, three separate characters, all to go over to the cabbage spot and nick the cabbages right under from Gar's non-existent nose because, uh, he hasn't shown up yet, and I get to dictate when he shows up, thanks to the thingamajig. By the way, uh, another thing I should mention, little kind of funny tidbit, just checking the thing to make sure I've got the right harvesting thing. Where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom! Oh, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, apparently Gar's not able to booby trap the uh, cabbages with explosives. Guess that's kind of realistic. What I was trying to show you then, what I thought would happen, is that the cabbage would still blow up. So it's like, even though Gar's not there, the cabbages still go boom. That would be a real mystery. But yes, one last thing I wanted to cover, and that's going to be switching to this character over here. Once the loading screen's done, of course. Ah, here we are, back in the Wizard's Tower. That took long enough. I honestly don't know why loading screens take forever for me. Damn it! <laughs> that stupid sky scale! Uh, getting caught up on a piece of fabric. Go figure. But yeah, the thing I was gonna show you is, as you can see there, item booster. This thing, you basically get it from usually uh, birthday rewards, that kind of thing. What the item booster actually does is that it gives you increased magical uh, find uh, bonus to crafting but the other thing is it gives you a 33% chance to gain an extra gathering strike which means I'm literally using a character that could be used to farm more more valuable resources to go here and potentially go and get more than just uh, one gathering strike so there as you can see my single gathering strike got me a grand total of two cabbages because more than one cabbage can drop from Gar's cabbage spot but the great and awesome thing is that with the item booster you have a 33% chance of it proccing again meaning as you gather it you kind of I don't know dig deeper into the ground and just I don't know you, you pull out more cabbage or it magically appears it don't ask me what an item booster is actually doing the thing I do know for sure is what it said right there 33% chance to get more of Gar's cabbages which means we have a 33% chance to steal more of Gar's cabbages. I may go even more overboard because uh, we're going to go over to the bank here. Let me just see if I have more item boosters because if I do, then I might just go and apply them to a few of my other characters to <laughs> steal from Gar even... Yep, I got five of them. Maybe I'm going to use two of them on one character and then two of them of the other and then use the, the, the fifth one later. A point being, this is gonna be one grand he cabbage heist, folks. Who knows, I might even get over the li the, the bank limit of 250 cabbages in material storage. And then, the <laughs> and then I'm gonna just uh, still, uh, just get a, an actual character, act, act like have them as a bank character, just to deposit car cabbages on them and just keep more cabbages. Yeah, but um, that's enough for now, like I mentioned before. Goodbye for now, I'll see you later, and uh, sometime in the future you can expect a uh, 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 part two of this when it becomes funny. Gonna see how many cabbages I can get out of this. Also, 
I'll make sure that I make an update video to tell you if I end up using those cabbages to fund my uh, new homestead. Because when the new expansion comes out, which should be coming out soon enough, it, it, it's like coming out in about a month, maybe sooner, depending on when I release the video, I may actually use those cabbages it, to fund different buildings in the homestead. You can get the Kilden homestead. So I'll let you know if I use my illegally quiet cabbages to fund my homestead. But yes, enough rambling. Uh, I'm going to uh, end the video now because only so much I can say about cabbages to keep it interesting. Cabbages!